Hey guys, this is Mr. Tylordified, telling you you're about to be Mr. Tylordified. <sighs> Let me tell you, I'm not looking forward to doing this movie review because I was originally going to do The Hunchback of Notre Dame, but after a, seeing a movie that I saw recently, I, I decided you people need to know. You people need to know to stay away from this movie. You need to know. This movie is just so bad that the director for it actually apologized for making it. I am dead serious. The movie I am talking about is... Joel Schumacher's Batman and Robin. I mean it. This is horrible. In fact, it is the very definition of horrible. In fact, if you look up the word horrible in the dictionary, you'll probably find a picture of the poster of Batman and Robin. If you want to know how bad it is, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. Why? Why? I mean, to... oh. and to make things even worse, there's this uh, part in the movie where Alfred, the butler, has his niece named Barbara. Come over and visit. And you know how Alfred's British? Well, guess what? So is Barbara. And yet she does not have a British accent. That is the biggest middle finger to the British I have ever seen in my entire life. You go to all the trouble to write the character and make her British, and yet you don't hire a British actress. You, Joel Schumacher, are... I hope you're happy. The British are very upset with you. Very upset with you. But it gets worse. Much worse. Another villain, other than Mr. Freeze, pops up. Poison Ivy. Good dear lord, I uh, hated Poison Ivy. She is just... Ah! Uh. She's always spewing out some kiddly shade line, and it's just... It's just painful, man. Just painful. <gasps> it's just so But wait. It gets worse. They give Batman a bat credit card. Why would Batman need a bat credit card? It's like if Spider-Man just came out and started being... and started dancing! Wait, he didn't... It's like if Superman just acted all silly and ridiculous... Oh, wait, they did that in Superman 4. Uh... Hmm... It's like if Iron Man started off as some sort of... Wait. Started off as some sort of... Sex addict. You know what? Movies freaking suck! I take that back. I, I like movies. And I like Batman movies. But this is just...
And they added Bane. Bane, you know, the big muscly guy from the comic books. And guess what? They make him look like a freaking Mexican wrestler. Which is just... Ugh. And he has like five, eight lines, and each one of them is under three words. I am dead serious. Under three freaking words. You go to the trouble of getting some awesome character into the script, and you don't even have him talk that much? That's unbelievable. Totally unbelievable. And I didn't feel any emotion except disgust. And I thanked God when this movie was over. And there was this... And the only real problem in this movie was Alfred was dying. And if that's the only thing I could feel emotion for, that's a bad sign. Excuse me. You know what? Keep away from this movie. If you ever see anything at a rental store that has the title Batman and Robin on the front, just, just take a look at the cover, spit in its presence, turn around, walk away, and never look back for as long as you live. This movie is terrible. It's just awful. It is the worst. The absolute worst. It's even worse than Shark Boy and Lava Girl. And I'll mention, maybe Vani and I will mention that in a future review or something. I don't know. Okay, maybe it's not worse. In fact, it's about the same as Shark Boy and Lava Girl. It is on the exact same level. And that level is suckish! Ugh. So I tell you again. My subscribers, my friends, my people who watch me act like an idiot. Keep away from Joel Schumacher's Batman and Robin. It is horrible. It is terrible. It is deplorable. It is just satanic. It is demonic. It is pure evil. <sighs> Keep away from Batman and Robin. It is just so bad. I'm not even going to show you a clip. Not one clip, because I love you people, and you do not deserve to see this kind of torture. This is Mr. Tylordify saying, I've just been Mr. Tylordified.